Hello, my name is Stefan, and this is my submission for the NCOMP 100 coding competition. Over the last few months, I've been working on a clone of MS Paint with some added features. This video is a post-mortem of my development process, what I learned, and what I would change if I were to start again. The first thing I did was make a general plan of the program. The main criteria was to have a canvas to draw on, tools to manipulate the canvas, some way to edit colors, and a layer system, like in Photoshop or GIMP. The first thing I coded up was a simple window with an image on it. I made sure the panning and zooming of the image was intuitive, and then moved on to the tools. A naive method of implementing a pencil tool is to simply place a pixel each time the mouse is moved. Unfortunately, the mouse move callback is not called fast enough, which results in gaps between each point. Instead, I drew a line connecting each point using the Brazenham line algorithm. The eraser tool is implemented in a similar way. Next, my naive approach for drawing lines with thickness greater than one pixel is instead of drawing one pixel on each iteration of the algorithm, drawing a cross shape and capping each end with a circle using an altered version of the midpoint circle algorithm. This is definitely not the most efficient method, but it wasn't slowing down the program enough to be worth optimizing. After finishing the canvas drawing system, I worked on a palette and layer system. I decided on a modular workflow for this program so that you can organize the canvas, palette, and layers windows however you like. The palette window contains 128 colors, a primary and secondary color preview, and three sliders to edit the color. Using a dropdown, you can change between RGB and HSV color modes. I tried many strategies for the layer window, but settled on a UI table which made it easy to display and edit layer info as rows of a table. I added buttons underneath to allow for adding, removing, and reorganizing layers. Since I was on a time budget, I really didn't want to spend time optimizing every line of code. That's why I embraced this philosophy, right now, optimize later. It turned out that some of the code I thought would have been slow was actually performing just fine, and the code I thought would be fast made the program look like a slideshow. For example, I found that by changing this for loop into a vectorization, I could increase the performance of this function by almost 1000 times. In the past, I've gotten stuck optimizing code which was already fast enough, or not even known where the real bottleneck was because I didn't use the profiler. This project taught me how valuable the profiler is as a debugging tool, and I will make sure to use it in my future projects. If I were to attempt to make an MS Paint program again, I would probably not do it in MATLAB. In my opinion, the UI system is not made for fast and responsive graphical applications, and the documentation is pretty underwhelming. One thing which confused me was the many ways you can draw an image to the screen. You can draw an image directly onto a figure, an image onto an axis, and then onto a figure, a UI image onto a UI figure, or even draw the image as an icon of a button. All these methods have pros and cons, and bouncing between all of them before settling on one method took a long time. There's also some features I didn't get a chance to add. Some more tools like a paint bucket, selection tools, and transformation tools would be nice. An undo button is something which you don't really notice you need until it's gone, and a file save, import, and export dialog would help make this a more complete piece of software. Overall, I think I learned a lot through this challenge, and I'm thankful for the opportunity to expand my skill set. I hope you like my submission, and thanks for watching. Thank you.